what's going on guys god bless you carlos here with serrano's mobile detail in dallas texas thank you so much for joining me in today's video i'm just here getting ready kind of getting set up for to head out for work um, we got some we have some rain coming in here later on so um we're gonna do our very best to uh to get something done but anyways today's video guys is truly one that has been asked multiple times um and that is hey carlos can you do an update of what you bring to your job size right or what do i carry with me now um from the video i did two two years ago so that's truly what this video is about um and i hope uh maybe this helps some of you guys so taking me back to two years ago when i did my one of my very first videos which was the products that i carry um i have transitioned um a lot throughout these two years products have changed um transitioned to different things so that's truly what this video is about and and let me start this video by saying you don't have to start with expensive stuff right if you go back i'll I'm always trying to find a way to post that video, right? Uh, so hopefully, if I can, I'll post the video. Click that link. You're going to see truly what I started with two years ago. It was a lot of stuff. Um, and, and finally, you know, I started having just a better luck, I guess, <coughs> financially or, 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 or with customers. And I stopped procrastinating. I said, all right, let me start buying better stuff, right? So one of the very first things that I showcased in that video was my carpet upholstery cleaner or carpet shampoo which was literally like one of my most favorite products that i would buy because it was uh you can buy it locally it was resolve resolve did so well for me um and it's very um inexpensive affordable readily available like at walmart home depot um so that's what i use for the carpet since then um i was introduced to the flex product line which is what you see me showcasing pretty much daily now the reason i wasn't buying these products back then is because i was like dude that's a lot of money 40 dollars for you know for those products each one i said to myself no i don't need it i don't want to buy it um and finally <laughs> i gave in and let me tell you, this has been the best investment in my business. It has changed my, <coughs> it has changed my interior uh, game completely, literally taking me to the next level. I, I believe it has taken my interiors to the next level, upholstery-wise, giving a better performance, giving a better quality finish. And it's just amazing. Yes, these are a little bit pricey, right? So for the starter detailer, this might not be the best route for you because they're $40 each usually right um but these are industrial grade these are professional grade these are um what many carpet cleaners use in their systems um so that's why i didn't want to buy it because i was like that's a lot of money but slowly i started buying more stuff and this line here has yet to let me down now i'm not saying that these are going to completely like trash interiors is going to make them you know, it's going to take all the stains out because that's impossible. Nothing is guaranteed in the detailing world, but they do the job. I have showcased them in different scenarios and the outcome is always pretty good, right? So for the shampoos, this is what I use. Uh, Flex Ice, again, let me just kind of remind you. Flex Ice is what you put in your extractor. This is your neutralizer. This is what's going to help um, stop the winking or stop the stains from coming back. Um, so this is what you put in your extractor. Flex Citrus is your pre-spray. This is what we use normally with a lot of vehicles that are just uh, not too bad, you know. Um, this is what you would use, like on very just, you know, <coughs> mild interiors, right? Flex Fire. This is the one you would use for heavy, heavy interiors that are trash, that are dirty, that are just badly stained. Uh, flex fire this is what you put in your extractor right and then you would pair it with flex citrus this is how they recommend it in their um in their instructions which i didn't know i was doing it wrong but now we're good to go and results are amazing with 
with that combination. So whenever I'm doing trash interiors, Flex Citrus as my pre-spray, Flex Fire as my uh, extraction solution. If your vehicles are not that bad, you would do Flex Citrus as your pre-spray, uh, Flex Ice in your extractor, all right? Let's take you to the conditioners, right? Into your conditioners. I was heavy with Aqua Gloss um, because it was affordable. It was cheap for a gallon, right? Since then, I have transitioned over to Drive Auto Appearance, uh, the Lux Cockpit Conditioner, uh, which I use it for engine bays. I'll use it for uh, plastics. I'll use it for leather. Um, pretty much anything, I'll use it. And it has done really, really well for me. There is no oiliness, no greasiness. It's just the perfect um combination and i use it out of my detail gun this is my little harbor freight detail gun uh, i pour it in here no dilution and then i just um apply the dressing to the interior and again that's from drive auto appearance i think the gallon is like 45 dollars. so for some people like oh that's a lot of money yes but again my business has transitioned a little bit better to where i'm able to um, financially support the business with better products right there's nothing wrong if you don't buy high quality products if you have to start with aqua gloss or the mcguire's from the walmart's that's okay don't feel bad right a lot of people man i wish i had could buy that you're gonna get there you're gonna get there um the steamer we went from a harbor freight on that very first video which i love harbor freight i will always um, in a pinch, I'll buy Harbor Freight because it did really well for me. We went from Harbor Freight to the Cosway uh, steamer, which was the orange one, which was an amazing upgrade. To now, we have the Aqua Pro steamer, which, again, I'm very grateful to the viewer who gave me this. Um, it's an amazing uh, steamer so far. For the price, I think it was like $439. I didn't buy it, but the price on this is $439. So it's, it's a huge investment if if you don't need it don't buy it right but if you're looking for something that's portable uh it's done really well so far for any scenario i love the attachments um i really love the attachments um very solid right so it's a better built product great steam um but if you don't have the 439 don't buy it stick with maybe a harbor freight or a macalo or like my little Cosway. amazing amazing steamers um, all steamers are going to do the same, right? Some are just professional grade, uh, like the Chiefs, um, you know, all that stuff is, is just different, right? I still have the handy dandy. You guys already know what I use this super clean for the Serrano sauce. I use this for the wheels, for tires, um, engine bays. Um, it has multiple uses, right? Um, and just recently I started purchasing the PNS product lines. These are really my go-tos. Um, when the vehicles are not bad, I'll definitely use the um, PNS Express Interior Cleaner for my window cleaner or IPA spray. I love using this one. Amazing, really, really good. And Brake Buster for wheels. Um, it has done really well. On some, maybe it doesn't clean it very well. But on very like maintenance clients and all those, it's done really well. Um, and obviously for my foam cannon, I have the Max Shine. Any Max Shine product, don't forget. Um, use my code Serrano's15. You get 15% off any of their stuff. Uh, plus free shipping if it's over like $75, I believe. As far as, you know, here's my extractor, the Mighty. Um, I upgraded from that first video to the Rigid. Um, this is the Rigid 4.5, and I like it because it runs my Vortex Air Tool perfectly at 90 PSI. Predator 8750. This is a generic um, hose reel or reel that I got off Amazon. I have my Rigid vacuum in the back and then my pressure washer, my Ryobi pressure washer. Um, as far as tools, obviously, we now have a Milwaukee drill drill with just just some basic um drill brush attachments from amazon i'll be posting links to all these things as well for my just tools that i, I like to use i always carry a 
more of a, a of a stiff bristle brush this is to get like in between like your gift shifters or you know just stubborn things this one has done very well walmart next thing the aniland pet hair tool brush from the lily brush this is way better in my opinion um this one here is one of a kind they don't make these anymore these are the serrano's uh mobile detail limited edition ones uh, shout out to aniland for sending me some um, this is the Max Shine uh, scrubber. Uh, has a microfiber side as well as uh, like the, the the Ninja scrub or whatever it's called. It's kind of that material too. This is just a Max Shine brand. <sighs> Soft bristle brushes, guys, are perfect for leathers, just very fragile areas in your vehicles. Uh, this one here is from Aqualux um, Auto Detailing or Aqualux Detail Supply. Um, They've done really well. I've used them, beat them up, and the bristles are still uh, intact. I know some, they be coming off, but this one has done really well. Uh, lastly, this is a uh, CarPro Car Pro brush. The brushes are not soft, but I guess kind of like medium, and it does really well if you're using for your wheels, um, for your emblems, even for interiors. I love using this, uh, like on my leather seats and all of that. This thing has so many uses. I have really enjoyed this one, plus it's orange. And lastly, the famous Vortex, guys. This Vortex has put in its work, guys. As long as you maintain these tools, the tools are going to last, right? Some people are like, man, this is trash. Get you a Tornador. I'm not all about name brand. This has done really well for me. And I mean, for $40, yeah, I could spend an extra 20 or 30 or 40 bucks for the Tornador one, I'm okay. I'm not all about name brand, guys. And that's one thing I try to just showcase to everybody that you don't need name brand stuff to get the job done, right? Um, but that's truly the updated, um, the new updated list of everything I use. So hopefully this video kind of showed you a little bit of what I carry now to all my job sites. Um, <clears throat> some huge improvements in the line as well. So. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys out. As always, God bless you, and we'll see you guys on the next video.